Well, sometimes you got to look at things for the way they present themselves, and sometimes they don't present themselves the way it looks. Okay, you're looking at a situation in which you have a title, for instance. Now, it's apparently being said that title is running on six months left of budget money and royalties haven't been paid out since October. It's always a title story that comes out like every period. So now, the period before that, you had title was filing for bankruptcy. Title is is like uh, tampering with the numbers, you know, and it's like getting out of control because if that was the case, why is title still operational? See, other giants in the company know what to do when it comes to sabotage and destruction and wearing down another company. You know, this is what they thrive themselves on. This is what they push themselves towards. They say, you know what? This is what we're going to do. We see this thing going left, so this is the approach we're going to take. Now, Spotify does the same thing. They inflate their numbers to make them look like they're really pretty so that other people can pay attention and be like, man, I got to get on Spotify. These people lie all the time. Record companies lie and tell you this record is number one in the world, in the country. And they go out and buy the records themselves. And then they're going to write those off as a tax write-off for promote, promotion and marketing. And in the digital age, it's much easier to hide than actually throwing physical records in the ocean. So Tidal has done nothing. Nothing that no other streaming service has done. Nothing different. So by them putting out reports, because we know who they are, they put out reports saying the inflated numbers for Beyonce and Kanye West's albums, they have completely inflated numbers. And the record companies are waiting to hear the real numbers. And the real numbers they're reporting is different from that. We know who, what this is about. It's about sabotage. They want to sabotage Tidal's reputation because nobody wants to split a piece of the pie. You know what I'm saying? They don't want to split it with anyone. So why do they want to split it with you? Why would they want to? Why would they feel a need to? You understand what I'm saying? So I don't think Tidal has done anything wrong here. If they haven't paid, if they paid, they probably already done it. They keep saying it's lies. So people are waiting on their royalty money. And I just don't believe it. Now, the inflation, yes, but the royalty money not going to the record companies. The, you know, I mean, royalties, sometimes they it's like waiting on babies. It takes six, seven months for some royalties to show up. You know, it takes some time. Waiting on these royalties takes too long. It's like waiting on babies. <laughs> so. That's my take on it. The boy Carcino, I'm out. I'm not going to hold you all day on this because there's really nothing else to talk about when it comes to this subject. I just think it's plain out sabotage. But I see it, though.